So I had recurrent prostate cancer, which is a little surprising because I had no prostate. Radiation therapy was supposed to kill all the cells, but those cells had gotten out of the prostate, so there's no guarantee that the radiation was going to take care of everything. So the standard treatment after radiation is two years of androgen deprivation therapy, ADT, hormone therapy. It should be uneventful from a cancer perspective. What happens is the chemical castration shuts down the testosterone so the prostate cancer can't grow unless it becomes castration resistant. Wait a minute, castration? This is chemical castration? Oh, it's called a lot of things. Those are just words, specific, accurate, scientific words. Well, are there any side effects? Well, it might make you feel a little tired. Seven hours used to be the cap, but now the minimum is eight or else you're gonna need a nap. When I say eight, it's really nine in bed, cause you used to do fine in bed, but now you'll sweat when lying in bed. Because your hypothalamus will say, I'm sorry, pal, I must make you as hot as the Sahara, but it's only every hour and a half when you roll over or you get up to stroll over to take a pee, which you will do with much more frequency and urgency. Urinary frequency and urgency. Urinary frequency and urgency. You're gonna want a bedside fan you can keep there. So you can keep from sweating through your sleepwear. It won't rush the hot flush into leaving faster, but it can keep your PJs from being a soggy disaster. At least you can fall asleep after each bodily fire, cause this ADT has made you so effing tired. So fatigue and hot flashes, is that pretty much it for the side effects? You're not gonna rap again, are you? No rapping. Numb hands, broken bones, muscle shrinkage, cardiac events, pain in the linkage, hot flash sessions, chance of depression, loss of bone density, no sex intensity, more fat in the gut, less size in the nut, pain in the feet, chance of growing man teats, much more frequent pee and you may even see anemia. So did the testosterone go down? I still feel pretty manly. Wow, it's like you're so virile the ADT basically bounced off your testosterone. Really? No, I'm just screwing with you. You basically have zero testosterone. My pinky toe has more testosterone than you. Now women's view of testosterone is a little messed up. Because I'll tell you, even though I had no testosterone, there were a lot of side effects that were horrible. So I did not like being without testosterone. Um, I was still completely capable of road rage and competitiveness and mansplaining. Mansplaining, by the way, for the women out there, mansplaining is when a man explains something that you already understand, but in a patronizing way. Should I be worried about this low hemoglobin and low red blood cell? Am I, am I anemic? No, it's fine. I mean, it's low for a man, but you're basically a menopausal woman. I am woman, hear me roar In numbers too big to ignore Cause I know too much to go back and pretend Cause I heard it all before And I've been down there on the floor No one's ever gonna keep me down again Oh yes, I am wise But it's wisdom born from pain Yes, I paid the price but look how much I've gained If I have to, I can do anything I am strong, strong I'm invincible, invincible I am woman Now as a strong, empowered woman, I knew that I was going to have to take control of my own body changes. So, for example, uh, loss of muscle mass, fat gain, uh, bone density loss, cardiovascular event possible. These are all side effects. But another side effect was depression. And getting depression might get in the way of controlling the negative effects on my body. I really don't want to get depression. That'll make it hard for me to do the things that I got to do to keep my body from falling apart. We oncologists have a rule of thumb about assessing risk of depression. If you can upload a public video on the internet of yourself singing, I am woman, we're not too worried about you developing depression. So today it's been 16 months since I started my 24 month course of hormone treatment. 
what side effects have I personally experienced? Well, fatigue and hot flashes have been my constant companions, particularly at night. Um, I've had periods where my feet, soles of my feet and my toes hurt too much to go barefoot. I've had periods where the edges and ends of my toes were really, really in pain. My Achilles ten tendons have swollen up quite a bit. Uh, my hips and knees are frequently sore. My eyes are puffier. I have to pee more often. Um, at night, that wakes me up, and guess what? That's when my hot flashes come. I honestly don't know how much of that is due to the ADT, but other people have also mentioned depression and sadness. I heard some people on uh, Reddit say, I cry a lot. I haven't experienced that. I uh, have some bad days, man. It's been a hard 16 months. I know it's gonna be another hard eight months left and then to recover my testosterone, it's probably another nine months after that, assuming it comes back to get back to normal. But so far, I've kept my sense of humor. Um, I've kept a positive outlook. And the big picture is the alternative is probably dying from cancer. So I'm happy to take the ADT and the hormone treatment. It's been, uh, it's been a good year and a half, even though some of the journey's been a little difficult. In the next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through what I've done to try to keep the side effects to a minimum and to keep my sanity. Some of it's worked, uh, some of it hasn't so well, uh, but I'm going to show all the things. But uh, it has been a lot of work, and my message is if you're going on ADT, commit to making big adjustments, but block that cancer. I am strong, strong, I'm invincible, invincible, I am woman, 